Hey there, it's Yvonne. So coming back with you um, on an update on the Jellish French kit dip thing that I was talking about on the reseller stew on Tuesday. So I finally did make the time to do it. I talked to you about this kit that I was going to try to teach myself to do all by myself, even though I am not a nail tech. Um, I had this done on my nails before eBay opened, is what I was explaining on the reseller stew last Tuesday. And um, I was just impressed with how long they lasted and it didn't hurt like tips. And I think I paid $45 and I get and a $10 tip. So I really liked it and um, I'm into saving money. So here's a little thrifty rich tip for do-it-yourselfers. Um, this is everything the setup, I'm just in my bedroom by a window using my piano stand. <laughs> and this is everything that was in the kit. And it is here. The special dip jar, I marked it oval. There's oval and round. And what that means is, let me show you, because I didn't know at first either. I thought, ah, which side do I use? But there it is. On the side of the package that it came in it tells you it shows you a picture and tells you which one to choose I chose the oval well that's what I went for anyways I feel like it went pretty well I followed the instructions and I watched some YouTube several times before I started this kit was $80 on eBay free shipping so <clears throat> The instructions. The instructions were really well. Let me stop for a minute. Here's all the other colors if you want to do color kit. I chose French dip. Um, and a little bit about removal time, about how to remove. It takes acetone. You can't just use the other the other type. Let me get this open. Sorry, I'm holding my phone so I can talk to you guys. Okay, so the instructions were really good. Let me show you this. <clears throat> um, you see how that's in green that's in purple well it matches the color caps of the bottles that you need to use the prep is in green the base coat in purple so i read through these several times and i watched several youtube videos including um one actually by this company and i followed it and i think it went pretty well the only thing i had to add to my to the kit everything was all inclusive the only that's my teacup my chai the only thing I had to add was um, I didn't have any cuticle oil so I just grabbed this and I'll buy some later and I a makeup brush to kind of brush off the extra dust and a cuticle remover everything else the lint-free pads the preps everything came in with the kit including these four colors two light pinks and two different versions of a white and a clear I chose the white the arctic white arctic freeze for my smile the tips and then the darker pink the tutus and tights the darker pink which was in the kit. There's some of the leftover there. Um, I put this paper down thinking I might collect some of the leftover from watching the videos and put back in here since it's just my kit for me. I'm not too worried about cross-contamination. It's my kit. You pour the white stuff. Well, for me, I wanted the tip. I poured it in here. I've already poured it back into here. Again, it's my kit just for my use, so I'm not going to worry about cross-contamination and, you know, I'm not going to I'm not a contaminant anyways this also comes with a brush restorer and um, some extra brushes and tells you how to keep your brushes clean you do kind of have to work fast with this kit um, but anyways here's how they turned out so I think that's pretty good for someone who is not a nail tech their very first time trying. The only thing I can see that I did, that I do need to be more careful of, is that focusing? I don't know if that's focusing. My hands are covered with oil for the cuticle. Um, is on the inside and on the edges, like that will harden too with the activator. So next time I wanna be a little more careful. I want to be a little more careful of my dipping into the powder. You just. Wait a minute, I chose this one. So imagine this filled with the white powder. 
and you just dip it in there, right? So, um, hang on, I'm gonna fill that up. Hang on, I'll be right back. I'm gonna pause this and I'm gonna fill that up. Okay, I'm gonna pour this back in there so I can show y'all. Whoops, sorry, I'm holding the camera. I don't wanna waste like that. So, I chose the oval. So what you do is when you follow the instructions and you have the right products on, you see when you just dip it, you see how it will make that kind of line. See that? So that's how that happens. Okay. I'm going to pour that back in. Anyways, I think I did pretty well. Um, we will see. How, I hardly used any product. So we will see how many manis, how many self manis I get from this $80 kit, which I bought off of eBay. I'm a big eBay fan and you can get it other places, sure. Um, and then watch some of the videos for all the cool other tricks, the ombres, the patterns, so much fun. I can't wait to experiment with some of the other um, like fancy patterns that I saw that looked relatively easy to do as well. So I'll probably pick up a few more colors again. Let me pull this back out. Again, look at all these colors. Look at all the colors, the glitters, the mattes. So I think I'll try a few other things too. Um, again, I think it took me about half hour, 35 minutes. I don't think that's too bad for an amateur. They're super shiny, super strong. And um, rumor has it that you can, when it grows out at the bottom, that you can just fill fill that back in. You could just buff this out a little bit, fill that in, re-dip and fill it in. So we'll see how it goes. Again, I will tell you guys how many manis I got for this $80 kit versus paying $40 to $50 at the salon. All right, I, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.